Hey guys, Marty here. Um, you might notice my uh, life pool has gone down since my last video. Um, unfortunately, I ripped today. Uh, I feel pretty bad because, you know, a lot of my viewers were really excited about how well I was doing and were really wanting me to take home number one, even though I don't really think I had a chance. Uh, I'm pretty sure Isla would have beat me because he maps faster, his build is a lot faster for like 98, 99, 97, around there. Unless I get crazy gear like Insanity Gloves and a uh, 350 plus PDPS weapon or like a really well rolled Soul Taker, stuff like that. That's when I can kind of go about as fast, but <clears throat> I did die. Um, I'm going to play the clip for you guys real quick. So to explain what happened here, guys, um, you can see those storm calls went off, and I leapt into them. But so this is where my mindset is. Okay, so uh, let me go back here a little bit. So right here is when I noticed these were storm call mobs, and I, you see they're targeting right here. So I'm like, okay, I have to get out of this spot. I want to clear these out because you never know they might drop maps or whatever. Uh, blue magic mobs do drop more maps. They have a chance of plus one. So it means more likely to be underground seas, stuff like that. So I go around up here. Um, I didn't remember clicking this skeleton shrine. I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, I map on autopilot, basically. Um, I've played the game so much that I don't actively have to think about things like clicking shrines and stuff. And I always click every shrine, and I never click a shrine off other than spell echo shrine. Um, and, you know, I've had multiple level 100s it's not like that play style will kill you every single time it's a very 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 rare that it will kill you some people mention chaining but i've run chain maps they're not scary I, I don't know why people are so afraid of chain unless you're a summoner like these skeletons spawn directly on the mobs and they spawn in uh swarms so if there's chain on the map the chains just bounce between them and also they eat up projectiles like if a uh Something that can chain like the uh, Mervale on this map, she shoots out her ice projectiles. When they chain, they don't even get to you uh, if you have skellies up. Not that it's a good thing. I I wouldn't have clicked it if I had thought about it. But I just don't think because I'm you know I'm mapping on autopilot. I just come back from a little break. Um, I went to the bathroom, went and stretched and stuff just to keep myself fresh for um, the long sessions. Um, but anyways, so right here, my skeletons are spawning on the mobs I killed up in this corner. And I didn't realize that they were spawning there. So I didn't even think about the fact that they could be targeted by these uh, heralds. So I jumped down here. My eyes right now are on this to try and see where the mob is that I need to kill to get rid of the heralds. And on my character. I'm not looking up here because in my mind there is nothing up there. Uh, there's no storm calls up here when I leapt down here. Uh, you know, there's storm calls going off down here so I need to be aware of that, right? So my eyes are all fixated in this area down here. And sure, I've got a little bit of peripheral vision up there, but that's not where my focus is. So now the storm calls start here, targeted at my skeletons. And a storm call starts here. And remember, my eyes, I'm still focusing on this part of the screen. I can kind of see that, but I'm not really thinking about it. I haven't processed it because, you know, you map for very long sessions. You, this stuff looks obvious when you're watching as a third person. But in the actual moment, it's very difficult to recognize these things. So I leap up here. And in my mind, uh, now I'm looking here, right? So I see, okay, my character's on top of here. There's storm calls right here. So I think right now, okay, so they just targeted these storm calls on me because right now it looks like they line up with my character, right? So I didn't even think about these skeletons or anything. I didn't even, they don't even exist in my mind yet. Um, so I'm like, okay, they just targeted, I can finish off this pack, I go for one Sunder, and then I was about to leap away. And in the animation of the Sunder, I died, because they had been targeted at my skeletons, so they were already set to detonate. Um, and then I'll just play the rest of the clip. Rip. What even? I don't even understand how I died there, honestly. So, yeah, I said I didn't understand how I died, and the reasoning was not because I didn't think that they would do damage or anything like that. I just didn't get why they blew up so fast. So that's why I was really looking forward to the clip. I wanted to see what happened. Uh, there is a clip in the Reddit comments uh, of 
uh, me explaining what happened. I, I'm not broken up about it. You know, I didn't expect to win. I wanted to win, but I, I didn't manage to. You know, I'm not too shook up about it. Um, I have a new character. Um, I'm playing the same build. I'd like to try and take back uh, the number one gladiator spot. It's going to be really hard. There's some insane competition on gladiator. There's Sparog, amazing racer. Uh, my friend Josh Dog, also an amazing player who doesn't really do these races. Uh, this is actually his first one, but he's you know doing amazing. He's a great player, plays a lot of gladiator and builds like that. So you know it's going to be a tough match um, against these guys, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and also, I'm you know maybe Isla rips and I can go for number one or something like that. So I'm just you know doing this because I had some gear for it. Right now I'm doing like full on econ economy setup. Like I already have a really good Atlas setup. I can make a almost um, immune to breaking ring here, um, going around this way. Um, channel will be the only vulnerable point in my ring, and it can only be attacked by Atoll, so it's pretty unlikely that it'll get broken. And by the time it does break, I should be able to get a big enough map pool to where it doesn't matter. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to farm a lot of Parandas because I have all these Parandas coins. I've got like almost 9k coins, which if a Soul Taker spawns, then that's all I'm good on weapons, right? Like I don't have to think about it. And I'm trying to chance Siege Axes while I go for it. You know, maybe I hit a good, um, like if I hit a high attack speed roll on here, or if I hit a high percent fizz, then I can augment it, maybe regal it, see if I hit anything good. My current act is pretty bad. I just alt regaled this thing. It's it's pretty bad, but it's good enough. All of my gear is quite bad because I actually died a second time. Let me get that clip. I, for I, I forgot about that. Let me let me grab the second rip for you guys real quick. So this was on my reroll, and I had my prismatic eclipse on, and like I had a lot of my uh, currency on this character. So right here, I saw this guy die, and that was what my mind was focused on. And I was like, oh shit, my flasks are kind of low. Okay, here, you can't see in this clip, but she had been at this health for like five seconds, and I was like, why isn't she going away? Okay, I need to port out to get flasks back, because I have no flasks. So I jumped down here, and she's still not gone, I'm like, okay, I need flasks. So right now I see the rip, and my mind didn't register that she had just ported it out, so I would have flasks. So I just went to go get the portal scroll, poured out, and I made the portal, but then I was like, oh, she's gone. I don't need to port out. I have flasks. <laughs> I'm at 2,500 life. I didn't see this spear animation start because uh, I had the inventory open. You know, you can see it's like, it's, uh, it's almost entirely blocked because the inventory shrinks your screen when it's open. So you can see the start of the spear, but... I mean, I don't recognize that. I'm not that godly of a player. You know, I'm a pretty big noob when it comes to noticing bosses, patterns, and stuff. So she throws this spear, and somehow it one-shot me. <laughs> I don't understand how... I have never I've never been hit for more than 1,800 by that thing. I, Rise thinks it crit me. It probably crit me. You know, that kind of sucked. But worst of all, I lost my prismatic. I lost a lot of my gear. I lost my good rings and stuff, so... Uh, I don't think I lost good rings. I lost one good ring that was in my inventory required level 60. Lost my belt to the deceiver, so ugh, that was a painful rip. Um, but yeah, my current character is good enough, and I'm farming. I have some pretty good gear on it, but a lot of my gear is really bad. Um, and yeah, we're just farming up, getting big. I don't want to be using Devotos. I'd like to replace this ASAP with a high life helmet, but for now, while I'm farming low maps, it's like pretty good, because I just leap a little bit faster through my clear a little bit faster. Uh, pretty much going the same tree. This character doesn't need resistances as bad as the other, so I didn't have to take both these resist nodes. Um, and I think that pretty much sums up where I'm at right now. Uh, I finished up the 24-hour stream today, uh, and then I, you know, hopped on to make this video for you guys, just update you all on what happened. I, I don't know if you guys liked my video. I haven't had a chance to read the comments yet. I'm going to do that after I upload this video. Um, I need to go for a walk too. I need to stretch out because you know I don't want to get blood clots from doing these long streams. I might do a long stream again tomorrow. I might do a short one to kind of ease back into um, moving around and stuff. You know, like it's hard to do these back to back to back long streams. But if I'm feeling good and I'm feeling up to it, then I'll maybe I'll do another 24 hours tomorrow. Otherwise, maybe 12 to 16 hours just to kind of chill stream and push up. Hopefully, I can get this character a good weapon and we can get started on doing some tier 11s and maybe pushing the ladder. My goal for tomorrow, if possible, would be to hit uh, top 10 again. But we'll see if that happens. 
Um, you can see right now I'm like 250-ish um, on the ranks. Uh, nothing too special, but I'm not pushing XP yet. Try to upgrade the gear a ton. And then I think I'll be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you guys like the stuff. I'll read the comments when I wake up tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I can just do an update every single day if you guys want to know what I've been up to and what my strategies have been and stuff like that. There's not really much strategy to talk about today other than the Parandas farming stuff. Um, so yeah, sorry about the mumbling, but like I said, I've been doing 24 hours, so I'm sure I could have made this video shorter. I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you guys don't hate me for dying at, and not being number one. At least I managed to die at number one instead of getting past or something, but uh, yeah, sorry. I was really looking forward to pushing more, and I, I really wish I could have done it. I got disconnected. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, have a great night, and thank you all so much for the support in stream and on YouTube. It means so much to me. Uh, have a good night, everyone.